down from 1566. We'll be back after this break. <music> Closely, and you will hear what climate change might sound like. $30 for a hand of bananas. Severe drought could destroy banana plants and drive food prices up. And now we can see the dead coral reef below us. Dead coral? I thought it was alive. No, it's dead. If you look at the pictures, you can see what the coral used to look like. Oh, wow. Natural wonders like coral reefs are disappearing. But listen closely again, and you can hear the solution. People disposing of garbage responsibly and not in drains and rivers. People responsibly discarding engine oil. Our climate may be changing, but so can we. Making small changes together can have a huge effect on reducing the impacts of climate change. Act now. Rally. Rethink. Respond. This message is brought to you by the OECS Secretariat with funded assistance from USA. More than 70 young people are about to start their new businesses thanks to the assistance of government. This through the Grenada Youth Enterprise Initiative, the small business component of the new Imani program. The program which falls under the Ministry of Youth came to an end Friday with a graduation ceremony at the Youth Centre in Mont Rouge. Abigail McIntyre reports. The Grenada Youth Enterprise Initiative is the kind of program that trains and prepares young people to become entrepreneurs, transforming them from job seekers to job creators. GYEI, as it's called, falls under the new Imani program as the small business developed component. 72 youngsters graduated from the program and were handed their certificates last Friday. Grant assistance is also being provided to the young entrepreneurs from as little as $15,000 to $25,000 in some instances. Coordinator of Youth Kevin Andal encouraged participants to take the lessons taught and the training received to build successful businesses. Too many times we jump into business and we don't do the market research. And in not doing the market research, we realize that we can't make any money. So we decide after two months to give up the idea. But initially, if you, are, if you did the market research, then you would know that that business in the corner of Palmis, where only Maniku and Tatu and Elbando will never make. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? This whole endeavor here is not about I'm getting $15,000 or $25,000, and you know what, I'm going to go on a cruise. So we give them a shot, so when they give me the money, I'm going to go on a cruise, and I'm going to get government money. So whatever they say, they can do. Or do you really want to employ yourself and make something of yourself? Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Youth, Mrs. Vida Bruno Victor, says time management is critical in running a successful business. If you want to lie down and sleep, all day, you are going to receive sleep for pay. <laughs> Therefore, it is so important for you to understand how well you must manage your time. You must see what it means to make your own money, to save it and make your business grow. Facilitator for the St. Andrew District, Miss Cambridge, left a few words of encouragement with the new entrepreneurs. I implore you to use the information gathered in the training to guide your operation. Seek help when necessary and always remember that to become a successful entrepreneur calls for a high level of discipline, patience and humility. In closing, network, network, network. Maintain the friendships you have made during our time together and create some more when you get older. 
Don't think of small businesses as a small thing. Think about this program as an opportunity to better our beautiful Tri Island state. Abigail McIntyre, GIS News. Plans are entrained to host a Chinese food festival in Grenada, the first of its kind. Details in this report from Imani trainee Kristalina John. The Chinese food festival will be staged on December 6th and 7th and the intention is to promote Chinese food in Grenada. Plans for its hosting were announced during the relaunch of Sajikwa International Hotel in Woodlands. The relaunch was done in the presence of a number of stakeholders with whom the hotel is desirous of establishing a closer relations. I hope everybody here have heard of us through the national stadium, know of us through Ghana, and know more about us through today's lunch. In order to let us become good partners based on mutual benefit, to create a win-win situation. Through this lunch, we can become the good friends for a whole lifetime and forever. General Manager of Sajiko, Ms. Jenny Jiang. General Manager of Grenada Distillers Limited, Mr. Rule Edwards, spoke of the mutual friendship that exists between his company and the hotel. Over the last couple of years, um, ourselves and Sajiko has formed a very strong partnership. They are one of our customers um, who, from time to time, on a regular basis, purchase our products to use at their bars, their cocktails, their functions, etc. Being a company that is Grenadian, we value partnerships, we value relationships, and as such, uh, we've entered into discussion with Sajjo Core as to how we can partner together with you um, to help you in the Grenadian market, just like you are a customer of ours and you're helping us to be successful and succeed. Um, so today's event has been endorsed by the Grenada Distillers Limited as a way of showing support to Sajjo Core for the efforts and the initiatives that they want to do. Additionally, we've agreed to uh, uh, ask them to partner with us at the Grenada Rum and Beer Festival, which is going to take place on the 22nd to the 23rd of November at the Youth Center. Reporting for the GIS News, I am Kristalina John. In sports this evening, Jason Holder said he and the rest of players joining the West Indies squad for three one-day internationals against India will be looking to make an impact. The Langhi Windies fast bowler was speaking following a training session on Monday morning where the visitors lost the second of two tests last Saturday. West Indies was swept 0-2 in the test series, losing both matches by an innings inside three days. He said, and I quote, obviously the guys were a bit disappointed after the test series, but we have a fresh group of players years here now, unquote. Having been bridesmaids in, the, in two of the last three World 2020s, Sri Lanka have already set their sights on the next World Cup tournament in Bangladesh in March. Coach Graham Ford will no longer be with the team when the tournament arrives, but he said Sri Lanka has begun down the road to success ahead of the first 2020 against New Zealand. The match is the first of six scheduled 2020s for Sri Lanka before the World Tournament. Specialized training sessions intended to spur innovative batting have been introduced during Ford's tenure, and they have begun to pay dividends with several batsmen having widened their stroke repertoire. Ford said the benefits from these sessions would be most keenly felt in the shortest format where Sri Lanka have been top ranked, the top-ranked side since last September. Striker Daniel Sturridge and goalkeeper Joe Hart will start England's friendly against Germany at Wembley come Tuesday, November 19. The 24-year-old had missed Fridays with a foot injury and withdrew early from training on Monday. Meanwhile, Manchester City's Joe Hart is back in goal. England Hart, who had been criticised for making several mistakes this season, was replaced by Celtic's Fraser Foster for Friday's defeat at, the Wembley, at Wembley by the South Americans. Recapping the main points, Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honourable Keith Mitchell says December 6th budget bears a testimony to government's commitment to the country. New digital x-ray machine installed at the General Hospital and efforts underway to combat sickle cell disease in Grenada. That is DGIS News. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. On behalf of all those who made it possible, we thank you for joining